thing is, is a series of, why does Gandhi uh, uh, do this? Uh, call it off. Uh, as he says, again, we have to go back to what he says, that this is uh, not only the favorite word is normally the egregious uh, violence. Uh, that was the term used by Justice Chandra Chok to write about the Ayodhya judgment. Uh, that, but that it become widespread. Uh, and, uh, and I guess, uh, and I think, uh, you know, you should really get uh, hold of Tridip oh. Sorud, you know, who, who, is, who, who knows everything about Gandhi and can kind of, you know, go behind his words, is that, uh, in fact, Gandhi says, you know, I, I had a signal. I, I, I didn't take care of this ominous violin. And this is the, uh, the, the kind of scale of, of violence rather than only violence that tips uh, the scale, because that's how Gandhi uh, said. And to that extent, it, it shows a, a kind of a, uh, a kind of a, how Gandhi uh, is uh, in his uh, you know, complete uh, uh, following the idea of Ahimsa is different from Nehru and others because uh, Nehru then writes this letter uh, about, you know, and several other you know, leaders uh, say that. So uh, I, you know, whether this, uh, you know, killing of 22 uh, policemen in this uh, place would be a signal uh, for others. I don't know, but I think in my book, I, I, I have a chapter called fraudulent reports or something, you know. Uh, uh, these are rumors. In fact, I think I use the Bhojpuri word, which is Ulangai, something that is, you know, fr uh, flying in the air. Rumor okay. flies. It doesn't walk. Uh, it doesn't run. It, it flies. And there are people, sadhus coming or somebody coming from uh, another district saying that Suraj has been uh, declared. Perhaps Gandhi also, uh, it's not simply Gandhi, but Suraj. Uh, Gandhi, this is not the Suraj. Uh, I have, you know, I've been building. And uh, if it was just violence, uh, pure and simple, uh, Gandhi would have still called off. But the fact that um, they, this is how mm. uh, is thought of very sensibly by these people uh, because that means you know uh, defying the the police uh, or as it says you not know, today we also will when leaders give a bhashan they say CID wale note karna uh, meaning that I know that the state wants to record so I'm putting it on the record so you know you, you can have all the knowledge you want to have about us. So, yeah, but, you know, to be very frank, meaning um, I, I didn't spend too much of time on Gandhi's, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. that I, I discussed that actually, but perhaps too, uh, too cursorily is the crime of Chauri Chauri. Because, you know, I, uh, because that would be an analysis in almost, I'm saying, it might be some, sound, some of the in, in Gandhi and, Gandhi's uh, psychology or something like that, you know, to have. Sudhir Kakkar, uh, for instance, would, uh, would write about it. So I, uh, you know, to, to kind of put a different cross while most of the people are asking the question generally. Mm -hmm. I do that. Uh, and uh, because they want to, you know, understand where would national movement be, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I am uh, also, I'm not interested in why did the peasants do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying uh, the, that quote-unquote act by the peasants and the fact that the state obviously could not let this quote-unquote crime go unpunished uh, creates, you know, uh, an archive. Uh, the, you know, and it is this archive that that exceeds the sum total of information and knowledge uh, that the state wants. They have done it, uh, you know, 
Uh, and, and then it's also lucky that the records were available and that they allowed me to uh, look at it. Uh, and that there were people that I interviewed, you know, as I say that I was walking out, out, out of the courts and I was to the center policeman looking for the relatives of the writers. So, um, so as a historian hmm, uh, who wants to understand Chaurya Chaurya, uh, also because, you know, it happened, you know, it's 15 miles away and I'd, I'd heard about it, but, you know, it's not a, a you know, uh, I'm sure there could be other ways of doing it, uh, doing it, but, uh, or if I hadn't got hold of the court records, you know, you know, I, you know, would have gone empty handed to Aranji, who's been pressing me after I, you know, uh, after I finished the sugar book, uh, he looked at it very carefully and, uh, you know, uh, he's now 99. So, you know, I've known him for 50 years and, uh, so, and he was very, very uh, interested in this because, you know, he was in India in 1970 when we all met him. He was under contract to write two volumes on Gandhi, uh, which he didn't because, you know, there was the student movement and so on, oh, which, uh, from which we all came, you know, 1970, right. et cetera. So, um, you know, it's, to that extent, you know, the, the states, the state creates the archive for itself. Mm -hmm. To that extent, uh, the state archive is at the service of the state. Uh, and uh, so that, you know, there is the authoritative information about what, what happened. Also an authoritative information about how people, once they break the law, are punished for how long and, 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 and so on. So in fact, uh, when um, uh, the case moves from the sessions judge in the district to the high court, there's what is called paper book. All the evidence is printed in four volumes and presented. Mm -hmm. So at that level of the high court, where they are not really going into the narrative, they are looking at the actual court proceeding, whether to what extent the punishment is justifiable, or not, so that the judge hasn't erred. And they might also be arguing that this, the judge was too near the event, you know, and that we must look at in the long term and perhaps he misconstrued or exaggerated the particular application of a section of the Indian Penal Code. So, you know, so it is to some extent it is, it is chance. Uh, yeah, chance, yes, because behind every event, there is a record in under the uh, uh, rule. Now there are telephone calls, huh? uh, and uh, and also um, uh, because uh, I I got an access. The fact that I discovered these huge volumes on on Chorichora is because such things were preserved. It, mm -hmm. Simply the Chauri Chaura case. While when I, when I was writing this, everybody, even when I was writing the sugar book, people said, you know, why don't you look at the Chauri Chaura case? When I looked at it, that's when I first looked at it. And the map that is the book, I actually drew it in 1975 for working on sugar. Huh? Uh, but uh, I, um, and so at that point of time, you know, I had a little bit, but it's not important. Uh, so, you know, these records were created. Now, how the state has preserved it at the district level is what is important. Mind you, there is no record room. Uh, there's a record room, but there is no uh, provision for people other than the aggrieved parties to come and inspect the records. You know, there is no place for historians to actually, you know, uh, look at these records because that. Uh, that um, idea of the records by the state are, are for the state historians. Uh, that only when these records are selected for a particular importance to be then lodged in the UP state archive. Huh? There, in, so it was not there. And so it is also, you know, chance, you know, they, I had to fill a two rupee, you know, uh, 
uh, stamp paper form that I want to inspect records, not research, inspect. And the idea of the inspect is I want to find out whether the punishment, what was the exact punishment or what did my, exactly did my great grandfather say? So I'm an interested party and I'm inspecting it for that. So to that extent, stay at the local level, um, unless you wriggle your way through, is not you know, uh, opening these, these records. But if they are not open, so to the extent there's a certain amount of chance, you know, no amount of theoretical uh, working and no amount of reading Foucault or whatever it is, would have helped me write this book, unless the sessions judge through some connection had written, please allow. And that I that as an excuse to show up every time and show to the next part, session judge as president. Huh? So, uh, and, and also the fact that I carried on, you know, it was bloody hot, you know, in, in June or the uh, yeah, 75. And just the sheer perseverance, that's all historians have to do that, convince these guys that look, and we started talking. And, you know, and so I, uh, there's a story I, I would like to tell you. So there is a big table where these um, guys, young guys are sitting, writing down, and they have particular sections of the record room assigned to them. So if somebody comes, you know, I want to look at their records for this Pargana or this Tehsil, this guy who's in charge knows it and he will go and, and, and get it. Probably nothing happens in India without using the palms. So I was sitting so hot, I also took out my kurta and, you know, I was sitting in Padama and Banyai uh, there writing furiously. Uh, and uh, suddenly, a one rupee coin dropped at my desk. I said, what's this? They said, look, sometimes one guy gets a lot of, you know, chance to get a lot of records, so he earns more. Sometimes the other guy. So there's one standard charge of 10 rupees. And whoever is among us yeah, gets it. So the, the guy also thought that I was part of, you know, this uh, clerical establishment. <laughs> Because I've been coming, you know, every day. Uh, so, you know, there is, um, you know, a way. Normally, you know, it's the anthropologist who tell you, you know, how did they gain access to the village and how they stayed and so on and so forth. But, you know, uh, for, for historians, uh, you know, uh, also uh, that's the case still. Um, when I started working in the National Archives, that's all right, but when I went to the state archives, every day's notes had to be surrendered mm. so that the uh, director in charge would see if there is anything uh, which is dangerous.